Now, a second train derailment involving toxic material in the United States, this time outside the city of Detroit. The accident happened on Thursday in Van Buren Township. Police say no injuries were reported and there was no evidence that hazardous materials were exposed, despite one rail car being reported to contain liquid chlorine. Authorities have urged residents to avoid the area and several roads were temporarily closed. Nearly two weeks ago, another Norfolk Southern train derailed in neighboring Ohio, raising concerns over hazardous materials. And officials assured residents there was no danger, uh, but uh, fears and frustrations are still growing. Sally Patterson has more in Ohio. Here at this community centre behind me in East Palestine, questions were asked to some of those authorities in charge of trying to rectify what's been an incredibly difficult and complex situation here. It's been almost two weeks since that train derailed, spilling a number of hazardous chemicals into the air and into the soil. There was then a controlled explosion to try and get rid of some of those chemicals, but the effects of that explosion are yet to be seen. Residents report seeing a plume of smoke going over their villages and they are concerned about what the long-term effects of that smoke could be. Now we've heard from the EPA here in the village and we understand that checks are ongoing. We know that the water here has been tested. All of the wells that the municipality uses have been confirmed to be safe to be drinking. Though people who use private wells and rely on their own water sources for themselves and their livestock are being recommended that they continue to, to drink bottled water until those are tested. Now almost 500 homes in the area have have been tested checking the uh, air to see that it's safe and to check that none of those chemicals have been lingering but many people here continue to be concerned they want to know what the long-term impacts could be on their health they also want to know what the long-term impacts could be on the environment now we also know that the rail operator at the center of this case which is Norfolk Southern is being put in the spotlight there are questions about the safety of that carriage of those carriages that did spill out and we understand that authorities are keen to keep pressing them and to find out answers to those questions about the labeling for example of the hazardous material that it was carrying through Ohio and also to understand what went wrong to cause so many carriages to derail and cause such devastation to this small town in Ohio. Sally Patterson, CGTN, East Palestine, Ohio.